wondering how you can reduce the cleanup with toddlers and coloring or just looking for some really good a road trip or travel toys for little ones, enter no mess coloring. Today I'm going to be reviewing seven of the most popular mess free coloring options for toddlers and preschoolers, including some of the pros and cons of each of these, when to use no mess coloring products and when not to use them. Because as nice as it is to not clean up, our kids need mess. If you guys are new here, my name is Rachel from The Confused Mom. Welcome to my channel. I share baby and toddler product reviews, activities, as well as Montessori at home tips. I'm a mom to a four year old and an 18 month old and we recently sold all of our stuff, moving all around, living in Airbnbs. So I know a thing or two about like needing to make sure I'm not destroying other people's furniture or needing uh, to make sure my kids are entertained in the car for long trips. And that's where a lot of this stuff is coming from. Before we jump into the products, I do just want to offer a little food for thought and like a disclaimer. Toddlers need mess. Traditional crayons and markers are not out by any means and these should not fully replace those either. With that said, if you are keeping traditional coloring tools in mix with mess free coloring tools, it's important to remember that toddlers are little scientists and the very act of coloring alone is teaching cause and effect. If I take this marker and draw on this line, what color shows up? That's why toddlers sometimes like to color on the walls. Like, oh, this worked on the piece of paper. I wonder if it'll work on this wall here. So I'm just kind of throwing out a little disclaimer. If you're using something like this and your toddler particularly likes to experiment, don't be surprised if it leads to an increase of coloring on areas that you would not want them to color on. It could just be that your kid is trying to figure out what the limits are, so to speak, not destroy your house by any means, but it may be confusing for some young kids. Just throwing that out there, that's not going to happen with every kid by any means. For more on that kind of like disclaimer, as well as scripts on how to handle it if your kid is eating crayons or coloring on the walls, head to the blog post version of this YouTube video next, and I answer that all in the FAQ. All right, so let's talk about the best no mess coloring options for toddlers. And the first one that we're obviously going to talk about is Crayola's Color Wonder line. Crayola's Color Wonder line comes in a huge variety of vibrant colors and pastel colors. Everything you would come to expect from Crayola markers, only they only work on special paper. So there's like a Luco dye in the markers that reacts with a chemical on the special paper. That way when you first draw, it kind of shows up clear and then like a second later, it turns to whatever predetermined color of that marker is. This is going to be your most similar mess-free coloring option out there that's like traditional coloring. You can buy blank pages, you can buy just a pack of markers, you can buy coloring books, you can buy activity kits, or you even have like little stamp ones. I'll link all of that stuff in the description and in the blog post there will be even more for you guys to kind of browse through. There are a couple dupes for Crayola's Color Wonder line, like Melissa and Doug have their Color Blast line. There's a company called New Fun on Amazon, so if you did want to kind of price it around, you can go ahead and do that. But I would say like Crayola is a well-known brand and their stuff goes on sale all the time, so I'd probably just stick with Crayola and she wanted something more like this for travel that kind of fits really nicely in a toddler's lap. On the note of travel, I will say this is my least favorite option for travel, particularly in car rides or planes, because this requires the most number of pieces. This is something I truly prefer to leave either like once we get to our destination or leave at grandparents' house, or if you are doing mess-free coloring at home, because maybe you got to cook dinner, get some laundry done, this is what I would pull out. Next up are going to be the Imagine Ink activity pads. You've probably seen these in like the dollar spot at Target before. Mine online for a little bit less. These are great for travel. I prefer these in the car over the Color Wonder stuff because these are essentially like one set right here. My kids obviously like tore it off the top of this one. So one marker to one activity pad and makes it a really nice like one to two piece solution and you can always get extra Imagine pens so that way if you drop one in the car you can just pass back another one. Obviously this is not like traditional coloring. You lose some of that creative expression and toddlers really just end up kind of like scribbling all around it. <laughs> they're not going to learn how to color in the lines. They're not going to learn how to choose colors, any of that type of stuff, but it's a good activity to keep them engaged. And as kids get older, there's actual activities in these books. So you may need to read the instructions to them, but there's actually like little brain games for them to do. Because it lacks that creative expression, these are not my go-to for home or once we are like stationed somewhere. Melissa and Doug also have a dupe for this. The next one's going to be the Melissa and Doug Water Wow Activity Pack. This is pretty similar to the Imagine Ink pads with two major differences. Number one, instead of that clear marker, you're going to get a little water pen. Number two, the pages are reusable. So these are one of my 
absolute favorites for travel because 20 minutes later it's dry and you can switch it between siblings and they can just keep doing it passing them back and forth. Very similar to the Imagine Ink Pad, there's a little holder right here for the pen and we always keep a few spares of these in the front with us and then usually we're traveling with water so I just like dip it into our water cup, fill it up with some water and hand it back to the kids. And you can get these in a wide variety of interests as well. You name it, they probably got it. And pretty similar to the Imagine Ink Pad, when they brush this on the page, it reveals the pre determined coloring page. But I do want to bring your attention to a dupe for this that you can find at some Dollar Trees or you can order on DollarTree.com. And unlike Melissa and Doug, which only have four pages in each of their books, the Dollar Tree ones have 16 pages in them. Of course, it's not going to be as durable as the Melissa and Doug ones, but for $1.25 to go from four pages to 16 pages, the Dollar Tree ones I think are definitely worth buying. DollarTree.com, you can typically only order stuff in bulk. That would make a great stocking stuffer party favor, something like that, or just like buy them in bulk and keep them in the house and just like dole them out throughout the year as your kid wears through them. Basically how that works is like there's a film on the page and when that gets too wet or worn through, it kind of just turns into like wet cardboard, if you will. But it's a fun little activity and it keeps the mess at bay. Now for older kids, aside from that other Dollar Tree dupe I mentioned, the other thing I like are their painting books that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And these basically work also with the water pen, but it's more like watercolor painting. So as you color them, this. You don't have that protective film and it really turns into more of a watercolor. So if they end up brushing too hard, they can wipe the color right off the page as you guys can kind of see there. These are fantastic too. They're just a little bit more of a challenge because if you don't stay within the lines, you can bleed the colors pretty easily. Like I can turn this cat blue or kind of just a mushy color. So it does provide like an up level of a challenge and it gives you an opportunity to reuse those water pens if you're in the car. Otherwise you can just use the standard paintbrush. It's gonna be the scratch and color books. These are great. Once again, you can get them in a ton of different options from blank pages to colors and shapes like I have here, letters, numbers, your favorite Disney character, interest base. It comes in like everything. And I like these as kids get older. This particular one has the built in pencil holder situation like a lot of the others I showed you. I like these because as kids get older and maybe they kind of mastered the chunky grip, which is better pick for young toddlers, this is gonna give them a chance to really refine and strengthen that pincer grass. So this is definitely a little bit more of a challenge. You have to add pressure to it while doing it. This one's nice too because on the back of the pages are actual coloring pages. So once you are settled somewhere, you can pull out regular crayons or markers and let them color. But we really like those for travel. It's super fun and just like a step up a different type of thing for kids to do than some of the others. Next one's very popular on the toddler scene, I feel like, at least where my toddler's third birthday, we literally got four of these at her birthday party. So it's probably no secret, but that is one of these little LCD writing boards. And basically you just can scribble. These are probably my number one pick for the car because the stylus is attached to the board. There's nothing for them to drop or lose in their car seat. And then once they're done coloring it, they just hit this little button and it resets. Noteworthy is that these do require a battery. Typically they come with either one or two batteries. You can get them in a few different sizes, but it is obviously like a really nice compact situation to travel with. And this is something I highly recommend for all parents keeping in their car. You can always kind of draw a shape for your kid, pass it back and then have them color it in too is another way to do this. Or you can play like tic-tac-toe on it. Lots of different ways to use these really limitless options. And then kind of in that same note are these little like Etch-a-Sketch magnetic doodle boards. So I get ours at the Dollar Tree they usually come out every spring and I stock up on a bunch of them. You can get them on dollartree.com or you can also just buy like bigger ones that are more like lap pads that come with magnets. Some of them even have different color quadrants so that when they color, instead of it being black in the background, it will reveal that different color. But these are a ton of fun. Both my kids absolutely love them. Again, I like that they are all one piece and your kids will draw a different shape, erase and do it again. Just like the LCD pad, you can go ahead and draw a shape, pass it back to them and have them color it in. You can play a game, passing it back and forth. We use these for letter recognition. Much like the last two picks, it is a finer stylus, so really working on that pincer grass. For more tips on how to get your toddler to stop eating crayons or coloring on the wall, be sure to head to the blog post version of this video next, or drop me a comment below if you want me to make like a short video explaining both of those things. If you liked this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with a friend. Be sure to go ahead and check out this video next. And as always, my name's Rachel. Have a good one.